there's one. Boy, the way he hit it, you would think this might be a fairly decent fish. Feels heavy, but you know, we're fighting a lot of wind out here. And when you're fighting big wind, sometimes hard to tell. Let's swing the boat a little bit. I was just kind of skirting along this hump. I'm trolling along a rock bar here. There's walleyes scattered out on here. There's smallmouth bass. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. And that's just a byproduct. Oh boy. I just want to turn the boat a little bit with the other remote. That's a byproduct of the wind coming across this thing. You know, one of the things people ask me a lot, really nice walleye it looks like. One of the things people ask me quite often is how I decide at the beginning of the day, I'm gonna take him really easy here. I think he's on that back hook. How I decide on colors when it's time to get my day started, when I'm pulling cranks and, oh yeah, ooh, geez. I missed him and he's on that back hook. We still got him. Great eater size eye. Let me flip this bail open. But you know, there, there is actually a rhyme and reason to how I pick colors, you know? I don't, I don't necessarily have a favorite color when it comes to walleye fishing. My favorite color, to be honest with you, is whatever they're happy biting on any given day. And fish like that, you know what? Most of the time, walleyes like that one right there, their color selection and preference on any given day is based on what they're eating. So the first thing I do when I look at a body of water is I say, okay, what are these fish eating? Now, if I was fishing out on some of the mid-lake stuff here, some of the soft stuff, here's what I'll tell you they're eating out there. They're eating minnows. Now, they're eating a couple different kinds of minnows. One, they could be eating perch minnows, and two, they could be eating shiner minnows. So there's two different colors there that go through my mind right away, perch and then a chrome. But then there's two other colors that marry right up with those two. And that's fire tiger, if it's really dirty water, because that's gonna be a perch in dirty water, and gold, okay? So now I've kind of got an idea there. But here, what I'm fishing right here, these fish, most of them are eating crawdads, okay? Because I'm fishing hard bottom. So when I pulled out the box of uh, uh, cotton cordell minnows this morning, that's what I'm fishing here. The first thing I thought is I'm gonna run a crawdad color. I'm gonna run something that looks a little bit like a crawdad because that's what they're eating. So I've been running this red and this red minnow is just smashing them. Mainly because there's no minnows down there that are red. That's not, that's not the idea here. I'm just running right above the bottom and they're tuned in on that pink and that red because that's the crawdad stuff that they're eating here. So ultimately, then there's a whole pile of colors in between all that, right? Well, here's the thing. If you start in those different realms and then work from there, you're usually gonna find something. Now, here's the other thing I'll tell you. I change colors quite often when I start at the beginning of the day. If I'm out by myself, it's a little tougher. It might be 10 minutes, go do a pass, see some fish, turn around, race right back and do it with a different color and keep going until I find something they're hitting on. This morning I started playing around with a few different things that were in the neighborhood of a crawdad. I ran a white and red. I've run a few different things, but boy, when I settled in on this one, just deadly. This is the all new Cotton Cordell Minnow, by the way. This thing is just awesome. You can get it in a deep version, you can get it in a shallow version. It's got a couple dimples in this bill, and that makes it have a little extra roll, a little extra action. Add these rattles to it, deadly bait. But here's the coolest thing available in a whole variety of colors. So the scenario you're in today versus the scenario you're in tomorrow, next week, later in the season, it's all covered with all these awesome colors. Great bait, make sure you pick a few of these up at your favorite retailer, they're fish catchers.